check it out. Today I'm bringing you a review of the Chocola chalk based paint markers. I have two different variations of these sets here, one being the Platinum series and the second being the 16 combo pack of the chalk pens and metallic markers. So being that these are some chalk based markers, they're actually a water based so they're non-toxic. They're going to be really low odor, acid free and xylene free as well. The Chocola markers are water based that's going to allow them to be non-toxic, easily wash off from clothes and really keep down on the odor. Unlike other paint markers on the market, these are xylene free, so they're going to be nice and benign when using. No need to worry about airing out an area or having a fan going while you use these. All of the chalk pens between both packs come with a pump action top, with after shaking and depressing you can flow paint into the marker nib. Both sets feature a predominantly neon color scheme and then the obvious six bonus metallics. Each of the markers has a very soft nib which makes writing on the non-porous surfaces a breeze. I found that they also juiced up pretty quickly, meaning that the paint inside is going to be flowing nicely throughout this time. Some of the suggested applications for these markers include windows, chalkboards, plastics, mirrors, or really anything that's non-porous and can take a little bit of paint. All the markers shown in this video were supplied by Chocola, but as always the opinions expressed here are solely based off of my own use after making this video. And since these are water based, they're also going to be water soluble, so you can really clean it off of any surface you actually put it on. We'll have to see if they hold up later on as a semi-permanent application, or if they'll kind of just brush off like normal chalk does. There are a ton of DIY applications online using chalk markers, so I have pretty high hopes for them having that semi-permanent feature. The metallic markers featured a more traditional body and nib that didn't require juicing. They reminded me of your more traditional alcohol marker, but we'll see how they work on the chalkboard and mirror applications. The platinum set comes with a 15mm square tip nib with a chamfered edge on top and a total of 28 grams of ink in the entire body. These markers definitely have some nice weight to them. It sounds like there's two mixing balls inside as well. The chalk pens in the 16 pack come with a 5.5mm bullet tip. Another note touching on the formula, these are basically just water and chalk. The contents include water, resin, titanium dioxide, which is basically just a white pigment, and then pigment itself. So all together, pretty much water and pigment. If you caught my most recent studio tour, you may have noticed I have a huge chalkboard in the living room of my house. This wall was actually painted with chalkboard paint from our previous tenants, so it's not the ideal chalkboard situation. It served me well in the past, and now I have an extra excuse to draw something huge on it. Seeing as this is chalkboard paint and not an actual slate chalkboard, the paint markers aren't going to take just the same as they would on the really non-porous surface. The chalk paint has seen some wear, but it still holds the colors on nicely. There's a fair bit more streaking than normal here, but by no means is it really working against my piece. I decided to go really large with this, and seeing that the colors were all neon, having a perfect opacity wasn't totally expected. There is some more noticeable streaking with some of the lighter colors like the yellow, but by no means is it really holding the piece down. I felt that all these markers really juiced up and kept flowing at whatever speed I really wanted to use them at, and at no point did I really feel a second coat was super necessary. Now I tested the chances of doubling up on coats to see how it would help, and surprisingly I was actually able to go over a dried section with the same color without noticing much peel up of the undersided coat. It obviously added some extra opacity to these colors, but it wasn't super critical and I didn't find it necessary to do across the entire piece. The painted wall definitely has some roughness to it, but the soft nib was able to get into all these little grooves and still paint well. So like I kind of mentioned before, you're going to definitely want to let each layer dry or each color dry before you get close to them. Seeing as these are water soluble and water based, if you actually draw over top of the letter too rough or too wet, you're probably going to pull up some of the other colors underneath it. But having this note in mind while I drew, I didn't overlap colors until they were completely dry. Now my process wasn't really slowed by this. But I can see if you're overlapping colors or mixing things quite a bit, this might end up being a little bit slower of a process just because you have to make sure each layer totally dries before you attack the next. I found these markers were able to exceed even better when I was using them just for single tags and writing single letters. This allows each color to write as it wants and you're not kind of overlapping each layer trying to fill in a large area. And even though the white was the lightest color, it was able to have some great opacity on the backdrop. And since this is a black backdrop, you're going to see that the opacity is pretty much tested to its limits. My hopes for the mirror are definitely increased because that's naturally going to have a lighter opacity as it's a glass based surface. After letting the fill totally dry, I had a really smooth application of the dark purple outline. The opacity was nice and dark to cover up all of the fill. And another great note to the white is that after letting the outline totally dry, 
I was able to highlight it with ease. Then cutting back again with some of the purple, I was able to really contour those highlights back in. It's kind of funny to see the opacity of these chalk markers holding in stronger than some of the paint markers I've reviewed in the past. The deeper colors like the light blue and red held opacity a little bit better, but I can see some of these fluorescents being better purposed than some of that single text style stuff. I've seen a lot of restaurant menu lettering and poster lettering done with these markers just in single passes, and some of the fluorescent stuff definitely is better suited on those applications. Or even decking out a car window would be great for this. The light blue also did well at covering over those white tags in the background without picking up any of that white underpaint. The blue was nice, crisp, and consistent. While I was testing out the smaller marker pack on some mirrors, I found some even better results. The ideal and non-porous surface of the mirror let each of these colors write on it as if it was a normal paint marker. The coverage and color laid perfectly on top of the mirror, and after letting each layer dry, I saw no pickup of other paint while crossing over top of that first fill. This leads me to believe if you're working on a real chalkboard or a mirror like this, that something super non-porous is going to hold these markers even better than what we just saw. And even though the surface was really slick, I didn't see any extreme streaking in between layers or passes. The metallic series performed kind of unique. Even on top of the other chalk applications, it kind of streaked up and was not super crisp. The colored metallics like the pink and green seem to do a little bit better than the silver, but I found these would probably be even better suited on a darker surface. I had to be very light on top of the chalk when I was trying to highlight it, otherwise it was going to take it up as these markers are definitely a lot wetter than the chalks themselves. I'm not sure if the metallic series is exactly chalk based or not, but they definitely had some differing performance than the normal chalk ones. They seemed to pull up the black especially well, which was rather unfortunate because I was trying to use these as a highlight around each letter. When using them on a darker surface, they didn't quite hold as well as maybe a normal Sharpie would, but seeing that they are water soluble and non-permanent, I could see this being the better suited application for the same kind of chalkboard sign stuff I mentioned before. The nib on these metallics is pretty small, so filling is probably not your first go-to, but I could also see some streaking and a little bit of application differing with the opacity and lay of each pass. You're probably going to be able to see the streaks of each pass as you go. So for my personal application, I'm definitely going to be using these markers on my chalkboard down in my living room quite a bit. These are going to be way cleaner than your normal sidewalk chalk. Me and my roommates definitely found that the dust from them got all over their carpet and couch that were right below it, and I didn't see any of that with these markers. The fact that they're also combined with a marker body means your hands are going to be kept clean if that's of interest to you. The cleanup on these was extremely easy with a couple scrubs of a sponge. With traditional chalk, I might have to go over my board two or three times to get all the dust out of there and to bring it back to kind of the starting point where it's more or less mildly black. Squeezing out a big deposit of water seemed to take everything below it with it. So for the sole end of cleanup, I would definitely prefer these over anything regular chalk based. Not to mention I just can't stand the screeching of chalk on a chalkboard. The same goes on glass or really any other application. If you soak it in water or use a sponge or a wet paper towel, you're going to be able to clean it right off. So the use for these on some semi-permanent DIY applications like glass or a plastic container might be a little bit better suited than your formal traditional kind of more toxic paint marker. I hope this video was informative on how the Chocola Platinum and Premium Series chalk markers can work into some of your art applications. I definitely had a great time using these, and I can see me and my roommates getting a fair bit of use out of them on our chalkboard. As I mentioned earlier, I'll have links to the Chocola website, as well as their Amazon listing where you can pick some of their packs up. These are definitely more of the crafting avenue for an art utensil, but I surely had fun switching it up. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to spray that like button and consider joining the crew by subscribing. I post tons of content like this on reviewing art products, as well as going over speed arts and other general art tutorials. Check out my product review series on the top left, and on the bottom left you can find a video YouTube thinks you might like. Thank you again for checking out the video. That's going to do it for me guys. Peace.